I find myself rooting for all these guys even more than I did in the beginning. And for Trey, it's unfortunate what he's gone through with some injuries and what's going to be expected of him as a high pick. You know, he didn't trade up to draft himself at number three. He was just a really right. good prospect. And, you know, that's not really his fault. And so now there's all these expectations. And now he yeah. doesn't have the the reps to be the guy that he needs to be starting in 2023. And Going will there be enough three. patience with the team and the fan base for him to get there, right. even if it's just like it was for Fields and Trevor Lawrence this year, where it still might take six weeks? Like, does he get till does he get till the end of October to figure it out next year? That's tough when you have a guy like Brock Purdy who's playing so well and then just jimmy being a total pro throughout all of this and seeing what he's gone through and then see him get hurt again was really a bummer for me and so i find myself rooting for trey even more now i find myself rooting for jimmy even more now and the brock purdy story is just insane so how you cannot how can you not root for him and i don't see how people can see how these guys all of them pros um how, how you could be like anti one of these quarterbacks i find myself rooting for all of them even more than i did at the beginning yeah, and it's sure. I think for me, and I said this last time, this is just the first time in a really long time the fan base is just kind of like, yeah, we're behind this guy. We're not thinking about anybody else. We're not talking about anybody else. And it, I'll tell you, for me, honestly, like the past two years have been exhausting. Like it's been really exhausting <laughs> for me to cut to because like I feel like as content creators or whatever, like we're at the forefront of it. We give our opinions. We have a million people telling us why we're idiots or why they disagree or, or I like Jimmy. I like whatever. It's been so exhausting. And again, I don't dislike anybody either. But right now, it is coming next year, whether we like it or not, there's going to probably be a controversy. So just enjoy this right now, because right now just everybody's kind of behind one guy and it does feel good. And this is as excited as I've been in a really long time with this team, probably since 2019 and then I probably the Harbaugh years, because again, there's just not that like just drama surrounding it. It's just, Hey, here's this kid we're out here rooting for. And it's not like, well, if Jimmy's the QB one, no Trey's the QB. Like it's just been exhausting. It's been ridiculous. And it makes me kind of thankful I wasn't um, – I was a little kid when you had the Montana Young stuff because it probably would have been just as crazy. Oh, I can't but, imagine what Montana Young would be like in the social just, media. Oh, it would be a and nightmare. And it was multiple seasons worth. 